Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in the last video, I talked about how in certain cases while mixing, it can be a good idea to keep your bass mostly mono or completely mono. And so in this video, I wanted to show you a few different ways that you can achieve a mono bass, if that is something that you want to do in your tracks. So the first way, of course, is to, you know, just keep your bass mono from the beginning. Um, if you're using a sub bass, kind of like this, uh, just a sine wave, or, you know, maybe a triangle wave, it's really easy just to uh, synthesize them so that they're, you know, a pure sine wave or a pure triangle wave without having any uh, stereo. You know, it's just a single waveform panned dead center, so it's going to be mono uh, to begin with. And so if you want to use, you know, a bass like this, uh, just a simple sub bass, uh, it's really easy just to keep it mono from the beginning. When you you know, start to synthesize your sound, make sure you don't have any chorus, uh, make sure you don't have any unison, or anything that would be causing it to be not mono. So like this uh, sub bass here, and this one, are just both uh, mono from the beginning. And you can also do this with other uh, waveforms. You know, if I wanted to use a filtered saw for my sub bass, I could um, you know, make the sound a saw wave and just uh, blow pass out those high frequencies. And just as long as I don't do anything to make it stereo, it's gonna uh, be mono. So that's kind of the easiest way if you just want a clean sub bass like that, a very simple bass, then you know, it's just easy to keep it mono from the start. But sometimes you want to have a little bit more going on in your bass synth than just having it be a nice clean um, sub bass. You know, sometimes, especially in different genres like dubstep or, you know, different Nero subgenres, you will have these big bass synths uh, with, you know, a lot of upper frequencies, and usually people tend to like having those upper frequencies be pretty stereo. You know, they like them to have a nice stereo width in the upper frequencies. And so if I were to synthesize kind of a simple unison bass like that, You know, you can hear that the entire sound is pretty stereo. And so if you have basses like this, uh, there are a few different things you can do to get the bass frequencies mono without having to have the upper frequencies mono as well. And so the first would be to kind of you know, high pass that bass sound. And kind of remove, you know, those stereo bass frequencies from the sound. And then just layer it with a uh, mono bass. And you can hear that the, you know, this sound, the base of it has some nice movement in it. Uh, but this one does not. And so if you liked the sound of that movement in the bass frequencies, you can kind of um, copy the unison settings from the uh, stereo bass 
and you know match them on your sub base. So set this to five, and then just match these other you know unison uh, parameters. And then just make sure that the unison panning is set to zero. Um, alternatively, you know, you could link this to a mixer track and completely merge it to mono using the stereo spread knob. And then you'll have some, you know, movement in that bass still. but it will be completely mono in those sub-frequencies. So if you wanted to do it that way, you could. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to use a separate layer, there are a couple other things you can do. And usually I kind of avoid layering like this personally. Um, and I use one of these other techniques. If I want to have a base like this. Um, with a mono sub. Uh, that has that movement in it. So you can hear this sound. Uh, there are a couple different things I can do, and the first would be, if you use FL Studio, uh, you can use Maximus. If you don't use FL Studio, you might have something that can do this, or you might be able to get a plugin that can do this. But essentially what I want to do is kind of take the low frequencies, and I can set the crossover between the low band and the mid band wherever I need to. Uh, just set it where you want your sound to be mono. And then, you know, what I'm hearing right now will be mono. And then I take the stereo separation knob here and I put it to 100% merged. And now you can hear that this bass is 100% merged in the low frequencies. But if I listen to the other bands, you know, it still keeps its nice stereo sound. And another option you have, and the last one that I will cover in this video, is mid-side EQ. So I have a patcher preset that can do mid-side EQ, uh, but there are a lot of plugins. Um, I'll have a link to where you can download this in the description. And basically what you do is you would high pass the side channel of that mid-side EQ. And you can hear if I take it all the way up, you know, the whole sound turns mono. Uh, so, I just want to set it at a point where I want the bass frequencies to start getting merged to mono. And you know, if it kind of takes out too much bass, I can kind of boost uh, the bass in the mid channel. And, you know, just get it to be exactly how I want it to be. So, to summarize that up real quick, you know, the easiest way, if you're using a simple sub bass, is just to keep it mono from the start. But if you are using, you know, a bass that has upper frequencies that you want to be stereo, 
and you know uh, your process in order to get those upper bass frequencies in stereo has also turned the bass to stereo. You can you know high pass it and layer it with whatever bass layer you want to, which uh, the bass layer would be kept in mono, of course. Or you could use Maximus and just merge the low band and mono the bass frequencies that way. Or you could use a mid-side EQ and high pass that side channel and possibly uh, boost the mid channel in the bass frequencies as well. So those are a few different ways that you can achieve a mono bass. And you know, uh, remember that you don't have to use a mono bass if you don't want to, but in certain cases it is very good to use a mono bass. And you know, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this just gives you a better idea of how you can achieve a mono bass if that is something that you want to do in your mix.